I'm Jeff Runnels, president of Keystone RV Company. Thank you very much for your purchase and we appreciate your business. Whether you're a seasoned expert or a first time RVer, there's a lot to learn about the operation of your new RV. We want your camping experience to be as enjoyable as possible. So we've put together this short video to help answer as many questions as we can, as well as help familiarize you with some of the basic systems, switches, and controls in your new Keystone RV. Remember, your Keystone dealer is also an excellent source of information, as well as your best source for service. Thank you, and welcome to the Keystone family. Hi, I'm Adam Ziegler with Keystone RV. In order for you to get the most out of your new Cougar, I'm going to show you some of the basic maintenance and answer your most frequently asked questions. We'll begin here at the front of your RV. You'll find your propane tanks underneath this cover. On fifth wheels, you'll find propane tanks on either side of the trailer up front. They're controlled by an auto changeover regulator, so if one runs dry, the other will kick in. Behind that, you'll find your battery hookups. Your battery hookup is at the front of the fifth wheel in the storage compartment behind the hitch. When your RV is in storage and not connected to an electrical outlet, you'll want to disconnect your battery. If your RV has a battery disconnect switch, frequently located near the entrance door or inside the pass-through bay, set it to off. This will help prevent a drain on your house battery. All Cougars come equipped with a gel-coated fiberglass cap and are protected with multiple coats of automotive grade paint, as well as clear coat to keep your cap looking nice for a long time. We recommend you check your cap after each trip for damage. Some cracks are covered under your warranty, but impact damage is not. It's good to get any damage repaired right away to avoid any problems getting worse. The shore power hookup for your RV is located near the rear of the coach. Now it could be an attached retractable cord, or like this one, a detached cord that plugs in. Depending on your model, your RV could run on 50 amp or 30 amp power. Be sure a power plug matches the shore power pedestal before trying to plug in. In some cases, you may need an adapter to make it fit. The use of adapters is only recommended in temporary circumstances and should not be used to power major appliances like air conditioners. This is the outside access panel for your RV refrigerator. Now you need to get in here for some basic maintenance that's described in your owner's manual. But the more important thing to pay attention to here is this tube. It's a drainage tube to make sure that moisture drips outside of your RV instead of getting caught inside. Make sure it's fully extended whenever you're running your refrigerator. This is the access panel to your water heater. Now you need to get in here for things like draining your water tank when winterizing your RV. Take a look at our video on the KeystoneRV.com owner's page or on YouTube for more info on this topic. Your travel trailer comes equipped with a docking station. Fifth wheels have this in the convenience center that's located in the pass-through storage. In it, you'll find hookups for your city water connection as well as your fresh water tank fill. You'll also find hookups for cable and satellite and an outside shower. You'll also find your black tank flush here. There are valves to empty your black and gray water tanks underneath your trim. You'll find them labeled on the outside of your coach. To empty a tank, connect the sewer hose to the termination point, then pull the valve fully out. We recommend releasing your black tank first, and then, after the water from the tank has drained for a few minutes, releasing your gray tank. This will help clear your drainage system of excess waste. Some models include an outside kitchen with fridge, TV hookups, and cooktop. Now the cooktop runs on propane, so you need to hook it up anytime you want to use it. Your stovetop connects to an LP Quick Connect located underneath the kitchen. A feature you'll probably use every time you go camping is your patio awning. Your Cougar is equipped with a power awning that extends and retracts with the push of a button. The control switch is located inside the camper and nearby is a switch to turn on your LED patio light strip. Your patio awning is not designed to withstand stormy weather. We recommend retracting your awning in strong winds and thunderstorms. The interior control panel of your RV includes information on a variety of your systems, including battery level and water tank levels. You'll also have controls for your water heater and pump. This is the first place to check if you're curious about your trailer's current status. The displays in your control are built for a variety of different RVs and floor plans. There may be inactive displays referencing tanks that are not included in your Cougar. Your RV's electrical system runs on both 12-volt battery and standard household electric. Because your RV is self-contained, you can camp comfortably when not hooked up to outside power by using your 12-volt battery and propane. This is called dry camping or boondocking. Systems you can operate when not hooked up to AC power include the water system, water heater, furnace, most interior and exterior lights, 
slide rooms, power patio awning, and sound system. You'll need AC power to run your air conditioner or your microwave. The heart of your RV's electrical system is the power center. It contains a converter to charge your house battery, as well as breakers to protect your 115 volt systems, and fuses to protect your 12 volts. Should a problem ever arise with any of your electrical systems, first check to see the pole you are plugged into is supplying power to the coach. Then if your GFI switch has been tripped, you can find it on one of your outlets, usually in the bathroom. If that doesn't solve the problem, you should check the power center next. Look for blown fuses for 12 volt appliances and lights, and trip breakers for 120 volt appliances. Always seek to find out the cause of a blown fuse or tripped breaker before proceeding. Your Cougar offers a first class entertainment experience, including DVD player, HDTV, AM FM radio, and hookups for Bluetooth and wired audio devices. It also offers up to three different listening zones, including outside speakers. Now these zones vary by model, so you want to make sure that you turn them on and off to check the location of each one. When using a roof-mounted antenna to receive your TV signal, make sure the antenna booster is turned on. The booster is located on one of your cable outlets inside the coach. You'll see a light on the booster when it's powered up. When you're viewing a signal through cable, you'll need to turn the booster off to get a clear picture. Your RV refrigerator is a dual system that operates either on 12 volt current and propane or 115 volt household AC. When no outside power is handy, the refrigerator will cool using propane. If this switch is set to auto, the refrigerator will automatically switch to AC power when you are plugged into shore power. RV refrigerators are absorption refrigerators, so they operate a little bit differently than your fridge at home. They can take a little bit longer to get cool, so your manufacturer recommends you take at least 8 hours of cooling before storing food inside to make sure that it's safe. Your RV's heating and air conditioning system operates much like the one found in many homes. You have controls over heat and cool, temperature, and fan levels. In extremely hot temperatures, we suggest you leave your window blinds closed, open the exterior doors as infrequently as possible, and park in the shade when available in order to help your air conditioner keep up with the demands of the heat. Your slide rooms operate on 12 volt power. They can be controlled either by switches on your wall, or if you have one, a remote. To a support effective operation, we recommend that you operate your slides at least once a month. You want to make sure that you extend your slides completely whenever you do so, and then retract them completely. Extending your slides part way and then retracting them can affect your seals. When storing your RV long term, we recommend that you retract your slides completely. If you experience any difficulty extending a slide room, there are several things to check before considering contacting your dealer for a repair. Slides may not extend if your battery is low on charge, or check for obstructions. Even a small object can prevent your slides from extending correctly. You should also double check that your RV is level. Your RV slide rooms can shift out of alignment if not leveled correctly before extending your slide rooms. If the automatic system is not working, you can retract your slides manually. For more information, you can check your owner's manual or check out the Keystone RV video, How to Override Your Slide Out Mechanism, found on the owner's tab of the KeystoneRV.com website. Emergency egress windows are located throughout your RV and labeled from the factory with the word exit. You can also identify them by their red handles or levers. Review window locations and operational instructions posted on the window with everyone staying in the trailer. Before hitting the road, check to make sure all egress windows are securely latched to prevent accidental release while traveling. For your safety, propane detectors have been installed in every unit. Now they could be battery operated or wired like this one so they can run up your electrical system. A smoke detector is installed in every unit. Most of these detectors are powered by 9 volt battery. All detectors should be tested before each trip, plus once a week if you're staying for an extended period of time. Your Cougar is handcrafted by experts. We take pride in every RV that we build here at Keystone, but we are still human. Damage or defect should be taken to your dealer for repair. For additional information on warranties and service, you should check your owner's manual. Regular maintenance on your Cougar is exceptionally important. Now we've covered some of that here, but certainly not all of it. For an extensive maintenance schedule, you'll want to check your owner's guide. Now nothing can compare to a full walkthrough with your Keystone dealer, but you'll still want to read your owner's manual thoroughly before going on your first camping trip. As you camp, questions can arise. If you have questions or concerns that cannot be answered by your dealer, you can reach Keystone Customer Service by calling 866-425-4369 emailing ownerrelations at keystonerv.com or on the Keystone RV Facebook page.